I'm Mike Kellogg, and I'm hired hand for Moody Radio. I have the great opportunity of working with some of the neatest people that you'd ever want to work with. You see this guy behind me? Josh is the guy who takes out all of the mistakes and all the errors. If anybody makes music through the night sound good, it's not me, it's him. The response we get from listeners are just something else. The Bible says we're sinners. We need a savior. And that's why there's a program like Music Through the Night. What we try to do is introduce people to the person of Christ. One distinctive of Music Through the Night is we're not talking to an audience. Radio is, I think, for the most part, overnight, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Music Through the Night is very intimate. And it doesn't matter what time of day that you're listening to the program, you have that direct sense that he's talking to you. And it's so refreshing. Here's this person who seems to be talking to you in such a way as if to allow you time to respond. I can't tell you how many times people have said to me, you know, you ask me questions and I answer you, which is pretty neat when you think about it. Here are these people who find comfort in a voice, and it is a voice, you know. And I don't have a thing to do with the voice. I mean, God gave it to me and I utilize it the way he wants me to. Hopefully, in addition to the voice, they're hearing the message because it's not the messenger that's important, it's the message. I'll take a trip to a radio station hundreds of miles from here, and I'm getting off a plane and I know I'm going to go visit with a bunch of listeners. And I go into the auditorium and suddenly this huge guy starts walking toward me. And I know right away, though I have never met this man in my entire life, I'm going to get this big old hug because he and I have been friends for years and years and years. God uses the words because it's mostly the Word, the Word of God, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. The Bible gets down to our motives, why we said what we said, why we did what we did. The Bible points it out. We may think we're smug and we know it all. We open up the Word of God and says, hey, not really. If you've got a gift, where did that gift come from? The gift came from God. And if the gift is from God, then you can't brag about it. I think giving is something that we can talk about. And I think that people understand that. Some of the greatest pleasures we've ever had in life, whether it was at Christmas time as a little kid, or on your birthday, your seventh birthday, and getting something that you want. And after you experience that in your own life, it makes you want to also to be a bearer of gifts. And I think Christian Radio is one of those places where you ought to go and give and give generously and give often.